my regular cafe where I do all your PDFs and uh, some other stuff. So today it's um, it's a very different story, very different feeling of groove. It's James Booker time. Have a lot of fun. I like it. I like it. It's funky and rocky. Okay. But we go on first introducing the style and we have a lot of octaves. There's not in the left hand uh, boogie or whatever. There is... So we have a lot of octaves, which is sort of rock piano. This is rock piano. So in a way he was a predecessor of rock piano in a way. Um, so we have, there's a, if you watch him play, he's doing all the time different stuff. And I play a little bit for you and then um, we extract um, certain elements. If that is fine with you, but as I see it, you have no choice. Okay. So now a bit slower and we extract a little bit from that. <clears throat> to play it like uh, I just did with all these variations is uh, takes a lot of routine. So uh, we take, um, first you practice this. And uh, to play it really easy and also uh, with the right attitude, um, it's more harder than you think, so. That's the first thing. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two. This is actually so much easier than boogie boogie. Really just octaves. So, if you have feeling then this is for you because you don't have to master, master like boogie boogie gadget. And um, so if you uh, play octave and you have some feeling in the right hand for the groove, then you can achieve something. Okay, one, we did this part, so one and two and three and, oh by the way, I play this now towards the middle, towards the center for you to watch. And later what you do is Yes, it's the same thing, but it, of course, is much more powerful. Okay, so we do it like this now. That's what we are aiming at. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four. Or whatever this it's the same rhythm again Have a look at this one. This is a little lick you find in boogie and blues. Uh, one and two and three and got it. 
One, one, and two, and three, and four, and one, and two, and three, and four, and one, and two. Okay, so the whole thing now is. I don't play it every time now. I would play it every second time. It's more musical. Now, um, one of the real uh, one of the things in his style that turned me on, because I'm a f I'm a fan of offbeat octaves in the left hand, so I quite like this is. That's it. One and two and three and four and one and two. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one. Got it? I repeat. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and Sounds great, doesn't it? Accentuate the offbeat. Really like a, well, when you're on E. One and two and well, one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one. So that we are here with the and and on the one we are with the root again with the A. So one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four. Bah, bah. And this is fantastic. And if you can, with this run up, also play something over it sometimes, it just has to be octave something. Wow, then you're in the game. I'll make you famous, I promise. So it's. Uh, this is what I mean. One and two and three and four and Play a thrill, a thrill. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one. Something. If that is that is expensive playing. You gotta be advanced for this, but you can start with. We are still on E minor. One and two and three and four and one. Uh, one and two and three and four and one. And this is also hard. It's all hard. One and two and three and four and one. This is good. I would just do the octave. Um, one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one two and three. Okay. Now let's see what what else is he doing sometimes. Uh, so he's getting really his octaves to life. That's his his. Uh, Legacy. That's his. Uh, he's bringing the octaves and offbeats, and it's also funk piano. Um,
cannot count during this. I cannot count for you. <laughs> it's super multitasking for me. It's impossible. I'm German. Uh, one, one, and two, and three, and four, and one. Dr. John in the end. So I hope you like this bit. <laughs>